Looks like we're not gonna be seeing two game fives, but why don't we switch over to at least one? Phase Sentinels, game number five here. This is a big one here. We talked about this, right? We talked about FaZe being one of the better Slayer teams. We'd say, I, I'd put them uh, very close to Rebellion in terms of Slayers, if not the better team. But again, it's Sentinels who have a new member on the roster. And it, I don't know if this is, uh, you know, just uh, just one of those uh, early, early signs of domination coming out of Sentinels. Or if, like I said before, Precision just fits like a glove. But regardless, he's starting this game off three and one. And of course, it's Sentinels who have a five to three lead. And like you kind of alluded to, you know, FaZe, the only team to hand Shopify Rebellion a loss at Arlington on Slayer. Sentinels have to do <laughs> what could be one of the hardest things they have to do in this tournament. That's beat FaZe here in a game five. And as of right now, looking good. Nine to five lead. Falcon gets away with that camouflage. He just doubled the scoreline of the opposition and precision with back-to-back -back kills. A double out of him allows Falcon to get aggressive. There's no resistance right now. Sentinels are doing whatever they want. Yeah, you said he picks up the camo. He's got that bulldog combination. It's so very strong. And he gets another Jeez. kill as well. A killing spree for Falcated. Beautiful value coming out of that camouflage. And he continues to pressure the map. Look how separated they are on that B side. And it's all because of Falcated just piercing the defense of this FaZe Clan. And he's doing it once again with the bulldog on the back of C. This is a two-day event, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this is going to that championship Thursday through the winner's bracket. Lots on the line right now. FaZe and Sentinels. It's currently a 5 kill advantage in favor of Sentinels right now with another camouflage coming up. I don't know if FaZe can afford to lose another one. They need to grab a hold of it or at least get a burn. 100%. They kept it within four, so the damage was done, but it was minimized a bit, and it'll be Snakebite who pops that camo. This is it right here. This is kind of what what makes or breaks it for me, is if FaZe is able to kind of bring this back with this camo, we'll start to see FaZe's dominance as the game goes on. World 2 with a double kill. Snakebite still has that camo in hands. Is one player unaccounted for? Always look at the shroud. There it is. Boo Boo 2 ends up going down phase. Bring them back within one kill. And apparently they're getting a little greedy right now. Excellent damage out of Snake Bite. Frosty waits for the time right in order to collapse. And now it's a 4v3. You don't want to give FaZe a 4v3. You don't want to give a 4v2 either. Boo Boo Doo Boo with the double to slow them down. Yeah, so that was what I was talking about. I wanted to see FaZe get that camo and also use it to potentially bring this game a bit closer. And that's exactly what they do. It still settles with that two kill lead, but FaZe have shown that they can have value from their camo pickups as well. And FaZe are doing a great job though of keeping this close consistently. Boo Boo, mm. he's gonna end up getting a large kill on the back of C there, but look how fast FaZe are to push him. Tied up at 22 apiece at the moment as we switch gears over towards Frosty. It's a three-man push from Sentinels. FaZe needs to recognize the fact apparently they do. They have at least two members of FaZe that are holding the line towards the B Street side. And Renegade hits the stick, but can't stay alive. Snake Bite now wants to take at least one down before going down himself. It's not going to happen. Sentinels take the lead once again. Camo up in less than 10 seconds. Now you can see it's the Sentinels on that B side of the map. And FaZe kind of holding this purple side. Frosty's that first point of contact, and with that kill, look how fast Sentinels are to push here. Camel coming up as well. That's three down for FaZe. Snakebite gets a kill, but Camel picked up by Sentinels. This could be bad, as they still have a two-kill lead, and now they've got the Camel to work with. Camel's out here for Boo Boo Boo. Wants to hold on to that purple street side, but nobody from FaZe is pushing through. Does some damage, but does he know Snakebite is over on the high side, finds out, and deals with them. One go down for FaZe. Now Falcated with the push. Boo Boo Doo Boo literally right behind him. The Bulls triangle offense right onto Frosty. Nowhere to go. Back to a four kill advantage. Now three after Renegade answers back, but it looks like Sentinel's still pushing forward right now. 
Yeah, I really like that camo play by Booba Dooba, right? He just, he doesn't try to take an off angle or go for a flank. Instead, he kind of wolf packs with his roster, and that's probably the way to do it at this point. A lot of players have camo eyes now. You can't really get away with walking uh, near anyone um, from these top teams with camo. They will spot you, so I love that play there by Booba Dooba, and it gives them that little bit of a lead, like you said, 29 to 26. Frosty kind of jiggle peeking that wall to get information, and now... <laughs> he uses that information to get an easy double kill knowledge is power three down goes sentinels and phase just flip that engagement right on its back back within two kills right now as frosty getting more intel sentinels are still pushing the strong side of the map damage looking good for frosty but you're in a 1v2 sentinels they've taken back b street lethal goes right after renegade and snake bites by himself over toward the pd no snitching around here Oh my gosh, Snake Play somehow gets that kill. Wait a minute. And he's still got a quarter shield to work with. This is incredible use of the repulse here. Not able to get that other kill. But his teammate comes in to clean it up. They still losing by two or three kills at this point. But still a huge play by Snake Bite in that scenario. 37 to 34. FaZe get away with their second camouflage in a row. And maybe, just maybe, they could use it to take the lead. But Snake Bite gets caught out towards driveway and look how quickly sentinels hop away on that opportunity there is no hesitation and they end up spotting the camouflage player renegade goes down and sentinels right back in the driver's seat 39 to 35 sentinels may just end it sentinels may just pull off the upset of the tournament I mean, that was a big blunder there by Renegade. It wasn't just a, a it was kind of uh, unfortunate for him, right? He had the camo. He was going for that stalker rifle as well. But Sentinels get some beautiful spawns on the on the bottom near pizza towards that seaside. And they capitalize so quickly. But as we talk about it, three down for Sen. We're tied up at 40. The world champ is going to bounce right back. Taking down three members of Sentinels. And I don't know if they've taken down any of these, at least not in that engagement. Seaside already being controlled. Renegade has a nice little pinch from the opposite side. Gonna give that up just momentarily. They know they don't want to make any mistakes here as the game slows down. It's oh. gonna slow down to a halt. World 2 is in a rough position. You can see all of FaZe Clan on that B side, or that, I'm sorry, that A side. Kind of preparing for that B side push. It's going to be that seaside control, though, that kind of makes Sentinels a little bit weary. They're not going to go directly for a push here. They know that flank could potentially come through from World 2, and he's in a prime position to do damage if they end up pushing B Street. Really uncomfortable position for Sentinels. And Renegade just flies in with the Bulldog. Double kill for him, tying it up at 42 apiece. Active camouflage is coming up. But you have to imagine nobody's going to hop right on it. They need the kills necessary in order to push forward. But World 2 not able to connect with the Bulldog. Renegade ends up getting stuck. And now Frosty who tries to cover his back ends up being eliminated. Sentinels take back a three kill lead. And that's an act of camouflage for them. And now we've got it in Lethal's hands. A beautiful job by Sentinels to take out the opposition one by one. But FaZe answer back. A big kill on the camo player in Lethal. 44 to 45. It's FaZe now who looked like they were they have lost control are right back in the game tony they had a three kill advantage they had active camouflage there's no way the sentinels lose it but right now they've just lost the lead phase three kills away from taking the game right back sentinels only down by one and boo boo doo boo by himself but the nades are going to keep him alive it looks like phase are going to back right down subway side setup with renegade playing that three one split and Sentinels, they need to find out. They need to find Renegade. We've got to talk about Precision. 16 and 13. His first time playing with this roster. They've done a little bit of scrimming. But what a pop-off game for him. In a game five. 47 to 46. It's going to slow down so much here. Waiting for anyone to make a mistake. I didn't think this camo would be a play. Or it would be a factor in this game. But it's coming up in 35 seconds. It could potentially play a factor. Luckily for Sentinels, they were able to spot out Renegade and back him down. Not able to get the kill, but if Renegade was unaccounted for, that would have cost him the game here. Still not over just yet. You still find yourself down by one. 
Lethal takes height, but he's spotted immediately. No impact there. Another camo coming up. And how does Frosty get taken down? Oh Ooh. my gosh, how does Renegade come out of nowhere with the stalker? Boo Boo Doo Boo does have the Ooh. shotgun. A stick. Oh my oh, gosh. But Sentinels, hold on. Sentinels upset. Sentinels are going to Thursday through the winners. I cannot believe what we just watched. Renegade doing everything he possibly could on pizza side, on B Street, the stalker kill, the beautiful flick for the two shots, the stick as well. What else can this man do at this point? He gets one, Falcon and puts him in a bad spot, peeks him, sticks him in the face, but he gets pushed and he ends up going down. Sentinels close it out in beautiful fashion. Precision 16 and 14 in that game. Somewhere out there, Verb Maker just burnt another Renegade jersey. So, 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 somewhere out there, it's a, some, somebody check on Verb Maker. That man, that man is not okay right now, I promise you, because that is one heck of a steal. That is one heck of an upset. Look at, look at the, the, the stick. He got it was the a double stick. stick. Anyway. Yeah, it was a double stick. <laughs> this is crazy, right? Look at this flick, first of all. One, two, boom. Nice little flick for the two shot. Look at this though. Falcated ends up sticking him. If you if we slow it down here, when he gets this soccer kill, you see that it's it's a stick that Renegade gets, but Renegade gets the stick of the falcon but he also gets stuck watch so we get look at this slow mm. down look at the stick boom oh, right to the chest right as he goes down it's falcon who makes the massive play and lethal gets a kill as well falcon ending it right there i mean that's gotta be insane right you, <laughs> <laughs> you throw a stick and you like that, that's that was nuts a nuts way to end that game oh man they can't nerf the spikes anymore, guys. I'm sorry. We were, they're, they're nerfed enough. That's it.